Ever pondered about Europe's energy crisis and the potential solutions to this predicament? Europe is at a crossroads, caught in an energy crisis that's been years in the making. A heavy reliance on external sources has left the continent vulnerable, with a high dependency on volatile regions and a precarious supply chain that's more fragile than ever. This situation is not sustainable. Energy is the lifeblood of any economy, and Europe's is no different. It powers homes, businesses, and industries, and without a stable supply, the economy could falter. But the stakes are even higher. This isn't just about keeping the lights on, it's about national security, economic stability, and the future of the continent. So, what can Europe do to navigate these tumultuous waters? The answer lies in diversification and secure supply chains. Europe needs to broaden its energy sources, reducing its reliance on any one country or region. This will not only make its supply more resilient but also more sustainable. And here's where Africa comes into play. Africa, with its vast resources and untapped potential, could be a game-changer in this equation. The continent has the capacity to provide a significant portion of Europe's energy needs, and there's one particular project that's been attracting attention. It's a project that's been decades in the making, one that could redefine the energy landscape of Europe and Africa alike. A project that's been talked about, planned, and is now finally becoming a reality. This project is a lifeline, a beacon of hope in a sea of uncertainty. Enter the promising solution, the Morocco-Nigeria gas pipeline. Imagine a pipeline stretching from Nigeria through Morocco and into Europe, a lifeline for energy. This isn't a pipe dream, if you'll pardon the pun. It's a real, tangible project that's been in the works for several years now, the Morocco-Nigeria gas pipeline. The pipeline, a colossal infrastructural marvel, is designed to be over 4,000 kilometers long, traversing several countries along its route. It's a conduit designed to carry up to 40 billion cubic meters of gas annually from Nigeria, a country rich in natural gas reserves, all the way to Morocco, and ultimately to Europe. This project is not just about laying down pipes and pumping gas. It's a tale of collaboration and partnership, a story of economic and diplomatic ties being forged and strengthened. The pipeline passes through several West African countries, each with their unique socio-economic landscapes, their own dreams and aspirations, their own challenges and triumphs. But why was this pipeline conceived in the first place? The answer lies in Europe's increasing need for energy diversification. With the ongoing conflict in Ukraine, Europe has been seeking to diversify its energy sources, and this pipeline offers an attractive alternative. Moreover, the pipeline represents a significant opportunity for Africa as well, particularly for Nigeria and Morocco. For Nigeria, it's a chance to capitalize on its vast natural gas reserves. For Morocco, it's an opportunity to become a strategic energy hub between Africa and Europe, but it's not just about the economic benefits. It's also about fostering stronger ties between Africa and Europe, about creating a shared future that's powered by mutual respect, cooperation, and sustainable energy sources. So, how does this pipeline stand to benefit Europe and Africa? Well, we'll delve into that in the subsequent scenes, but for now, just imagine. A pipeline, a lifeline stretching across continents bringing energy, opportunity, and hope. It's a story worth telling and a journey worth taking. Europe stands to gain immensely from this energy lifeline. Let's dive into how this Trans-Saharan gas pipeline, a project over four decades in the making, could be the answer to Europe's energy prayers. Firstly, it's about diversifying energy sources. Europe has long been reliant on a few key players for its gas supply, but now, with the pipeline, Africa could be joining the roster, providing up to 30 billion cubic meters of gas annually. This addition would create a more balanced and resilient energy portfolio for Europe. Increased energy security is another major perk. With geopolitical unrest often playing havoc with energy supplies, having an additional source of gas could significantly bolster Europe's energy security. The pipeline could act as a buffer, ensuring that Europe's energy supply remains uninterrupted even in times of conflict or crisis. And then there's the potential for cost savings. With the pipeline in operation, Europe could have a direct line to some of the world's largest gas reserves. This could drive down the cost of gas imports, saving Europe billions every year. In the face of rising energy costs, this could be a much-needed relief for European economies and consumers alike. These benefits could help Europe mitigate its current energy crisis. Diversification, security, cost savings, these are all critical factors that will determine how Europe navigates its energy future. 
The Trans-Saharan Gas Pipeline could be a crucial component of this strategy. Africa, too, stands on the threshold of a transformative energy revolution. This continent, rich in natural resources and brimming with potential, is poised to reap significant benefits from the Morocco-Nigeria gas pipeline. It's not just about supplying gas to Europe. It's about catalyzing economic growth, creating jobs, and bolstering infrastructural development right here in Africa. Let's start with economic growth. The pipeline project is a multi-billion dollar initiative that could pump much needed capital into the African economy. This isn't just a one-off gain. The ongoing revenue from gas exports could provide a steady stream of income for the countries directly involved, like Nigeria and Morocco, and potentially others along the route. It's a chance for Africa to create a sustainable revenue source that's not solely reliant on traditional sectors like agriculture or mining, but it's not just about the money. The project also promises to spur job creation both directly and indirectly. Construction, maintenance, and operation of the pipeline will require a skilled workforce, opening up opportunities for local employment. Indirectly, the boost in economic activity could stimulate growth in other sectors, from hospitality to services, creating a ripple effect of job opportunities across the continent. Lastly, the pipeline project could be a boon for infrastructural development. Just think about it, laying down thousands of kilometers of pipeline, building the necessary facilities, developing the technology required to operate and maintain it. All of these need infrastructure. This project could spur the development of roads, ports, and other facilities, not to mention the technological advances that could come with it. The position of Nigeria and Morocco in this project is unique. Nigeria, with its vast reserves of natural gas, stands to become a major player in the global energy market. And Morocco, strategically located at the crossroads of Africa and Europe, could cement its position as a key energy hub. In a nutshell, this pipeline project could be a game changer for Africa. It's about more than gas. It's about growth, jobs, and development. Now let's talk numbers. How much can Europe potentially save? It's all about the economics, isn't it? Let's dive into the riveting world of potential savings that Europe could reap from the Morocco-Nigeria gas pipeline. When we talk about savings, it's not just about immediate monetary benefits. It's about long-term fiscal stability, energy security, and economic sustainability. Europe spends around $100 billion annually on gas imports. The Morocco-Nigeria pipeline could supply up to 30 billion cubic meters of gas to Europe each year, significantly reducing the continent's dependency on other, often more expensive, sources. This project could potentially save Europe tens of billions of dollars every year in import costs. But the savings don't stop there. The pipeline could also drive down the price of gas in the European market due to increased competition. Lower energy prices could translate into cost savings for businesses, leading to increased economic activity and job creation. This is a ripple effect that could benefit the economy as a whole. Beyond the direct economic impact, there's also the matter of energy security. Europe's reliance on a small number of gas suppliers has long been a cause for concern. The Morocco-Nigeria pipeline could help to diversify Europe's gas sources, reducing the risk of supply disruptions and price volatility. This diversification is an invaluable insurance policy that could save Europe billions in potential crisis management. In terms of long-term economic impact, the pipeline could play a key role in Europe's transition to a low-carbon economy. Natural gas is the cleanest burning fossil fuel and could serve as a bridge in the shift towards renewable energy. By investing in this pipeline, Europe could be saving on future environmental costs and paving the way for a sustainable future. In conclusion, the Morocco-Nigeria pipeline represents a significant economic opportunity for Europe. The potential savings are vast, ranging from direct import costs to long-term environmental benefits. But a project of this magnitude comes with its share of challenges. Every silver lining has a cloud, doesn't it? As with any ambitious endeavor, the Morocco-Nigeria gas pipeline comes with its fair share of challenges. First, let's talk about political instability. It's no secret that the regions through which the pipeline would run have seen their fair share of political unrest. This instability could potentially disrupt the progress of the project, but don't be too quick to dismiss the pipeline. A potential solution to this could lie in international cooperation and diplomacy, fostering stability and security in the region. Next up, we have the issue of funding. With a price tag of $13 billion, financing this project is no small feat. Yet consider the potential return on investment. 
the pipeline could supply up to 30 billion cubic meters of gas to Europe annually, opening up a new revenue stream for the African nations involved and saving Europe a hefty sum in the process. Finally, we have environmental concerns. Pipelines by their nature carry risks of leaks and spills. The impact on the local environment can be devastating. However, with the right precautions and the use of advanced technology, these risks can be mitigated. It's essential here to employ rigorous environmental impact assessments and to ensure stringent safety measures are in place. In all these challenges, the key is collaboration between nations, between sectors. It's about leveraging the strengths of each to overcome the hurdles. It's about understanding that the benefits of this project extend beyond the economic, reaching into the realms of geopolitics and environmental sustainability. Let's not forget the pipeline is not just about gas, it's about creating jobs, fostering economic growth and promoting stability in the region. It's about bridging divides, building connections and creating a mutually beneficial relationship between Africa and Europe. In the end, the challenges are significant but the rewards could be monumental. With the right approach, the right partners and the right mindset, these challenges can be transformed into opportunities. The Morocco-Nigeria gas pipeline has the potential to change the energy landscape. Energy is the lifeblood of modern civilization. It fuels our homes, powers our industries, and propels us into the future. And with the advent of the Morocco-Nigeria gas pipeline, the global energy landscape could be on the brink of a dramatic transformation. This ambitious project stretching from the heart of Africa to the shores of Europe represents a potential shift in energy dynamics. Traditionally, Europe has relied heavily on a handful of sources for its energy needs. This pipeline, however, would diversify these sources, reducing Europe's dependency on the volatile regions that have historically dominated the energy market. But the impact of the Morocco-Nigeria gas pipeline transcends the borders of Europe and Africa. The project could set a precedent for international collaboration in energy security, sending a bold message to the world energy supply can be dynamic, diversified, and mutually beneficial. Additionally, with the pipeline's potential to supply up to 30 billion cubic meters of gas to Europe annually, it could significantly contribute to the global energy supply. This project is not just about delivering gas from one point to another. It's about leveraging the resources of one continent to meet the demands of another, fostering a sense of interdependence and cooperation. The pipeline also signals a broader shift towards the recognition of Africa's role in the global energy landscape. As African nations harness their vast, natural resources and engage in such significant international projects, they are staking their claim as key players in the energy sector. This shift could stimulate economic growth, drive investment, and foster technological innovation across the continent. This initiative could also have implications for global energy security. By diversifying energy sources and reducing dependency on traditional suppliers, the pipeline could contribute to a more stable and secure global energy supply. This is crucial in an era of increasing energy demand and geopolitical uncertainty. The Morocco-Nigeria gas pipeline is more than a pipeline, it's a beacon of hope. It symbolizes a future where energy is not a source of conflict, but a catalyst for cooperation and mutual prosperity. The pipeline is a testament to the potential of international collaboration, the power of diversified energy sources, and the promise of a more secure and sustainable energy future. The energy crisis demands innovative solutions, and the Morocco-Nigeria gas pipeline fits the bill. As we cast our eyes back over the landscape of our discussion, we've delved into Europe's energy predicament, the immense potential benefits the Morocco-Nigeria gas pipeline holds for both Europe and Africa and the billions in savings Europe stands to gain. We've also navigated through the various challenges and potential solutions and examined the impact this project could have on the global energy landscape. The Morocco-Nigeria gas pipeline, a venture proposed over 40 years ago, aims to supply up to 30 billion cubic meters of gas to Europe annually. This project could serve as a lifeline in diversifying Europe's gas sources, especially in light of the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. It's a game-changer, and it's no wonder that Algeria, Niger and Nigeria are in talks to revive this initiative. But let's not forget the impact on Africa. This pipeline project isn't just about supplying gas, it's about economic growth and poverty alleviation. It's about creating jobs in ICT and investing in social programs. The challenges are real, but so are the solutions. With updated feasibility studies and a task force in place, the countries involved are showing a commitment to overcoming these hurdles and the potential savings for Europe, they're in the billions. 
that's a figure that's hard to ignore, but perhaps most importantly, this pipeline could reshape the global energy landscape. It could shift the balance of power and influence in ways we're just beginning to comprehend. It's not just about the gas, it's about the geopolitics, it's about the future. The Morocco-Nigeria gas pipeline is not just an economic venture, it's a step towards a more secure and sustainable energy future.